In this video, we're going to discuss the accounts receivable turnover ratio. So basically, the account receivable turnover ratio is going to tell you how many times in a given year or quarter, whatever the period is, that a company collects its average account receivable balance. Okay. So to calculate this, here's the formula. You're basically going to take the net credit sales. This is not just the total sales revenue because total sales revenue is going to include cash sales. So if at all possible, you want to get the net credit sales. Okay, and again, I said net. The net is because we'd subtract out like sales returns, sales discounts, and so forth, right? So we've got net sales, which is gross sales minus sales discounts, uh, sales returns and allowances, and so forth. But then we have net credit sales, okay? So where we're actually going to also subtract out the cash sales. We don't want cash in there because what we're trying to do is measure how quickly or how many times in a period a company is collecting its receivables, okay, its credit sales. So we take the net credit sales and we divide that by the average net accounts receivable. So it, accounts receivable net, you'll see it on a balance sheet, so like A slash R net. So that's just the account receivable minus the allowance for doubtful accounts, okay, the allowance for un estimated uncollectible accounts. That's account receivable net. And when I say average, Let's say you were doing this for a year uh, for a company, then you would take their annual net credit sales for, for that year. And then you would take from the beginning of the year, you would take their uh, net account receivable balance. And then from the end of the year, so you look at from balance sheet date to balance sheet date, take them and divide it by two. So let, let me give you an example. It'll make this a little bit easier for you to understand. So let's say that we have a company called Woofer that makes uh, mechanical dogs as pets. Uh, you don't have to clean up after them or anything or walk them. So Woofer had $20 million in total sales revenue during 2021, but only $15 million of those sales were made on credit. Okay, And let's say that when we're talking about sales here, let's say net sales. Okay, Let's say total net sales to, to make this really clear. Okay, So we're talking about total net sales was $20 million, so we've already taken out sales discounts, sales returns allowances, we don't have to worry about that. And of that 20 million, 15 million was on credit. Okay, so that's gonna be in the numerator here when we go to calculate this ratio. Now, to get the denominator, we have to say, okay, what was the net account receivable at the beginning of the year? Okay, and let's say it was $4 million, and then at the end of the year, it was $2 million. Okay, so what we do is we just take the four, plus 2 and divide it by 2 to get the average. Okay, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. So our denominator is going to be 3 and then our numerator is going to be 15. Okay, so we can see that the account receivable turnover ratio for this company is going to be 5. Now what does that mean? That means that this company, Woofer, collects its account receivable about 5 times a year. Okay, so we can now now that you have that information, what can you do with it? Well, you can look and say, okay, compared to other firms in this industry, how is Woofer doing? Is it does it collect receivables a lot more times in a given year than this competitors, or a lot fewer times? Okay, and then you can also look at a trend analysis over time. So let's say that we say, okay, is is five good or not? Well, let's say the previous year was six, the previous year was seven, the previous year was eight, like if we go back in time, okay? And then this year was five. So we see that there's a trend that over time, we're, we're collecting our receivables a lot fewer times each year. So it could be a couple of reasons that that's happening. Uh, one is it could be maybe the company relaxed its credit policy. So sometimes when companies get in financial trouble, one way to boost sales is to just start extending credit to pretty much anyone, right? So if they have new customers that aren't really very credit worthy, it could be that those customers, they come in and even though we have quote unquote a sale, it's never being collected, okay? Or it's taking a long time to collect it. Now, it also could be that the company didn't necessarily relax its credit policy, but maybe it's just that the existing customers are taking a longer amount of time to pay their bill, or maybe they're not paying at all. And that could be maybe there are some issues with the economy and so forth. And so that's why it's, that's the whole reason we're putting together this receivable turnover ratio is to say, okay, look, when we look at sales, when we look at sales revenue, it's computed on an accrual basis per gap. 
Okay, that's what generally accepted accounts for accounting principles are. But there's a major assumption there, which is that at some point in time, the account receivables are actually going to be collected and turned into cash. And so what we're trying to do with this ratio is see how good a job is a company doing with that.